Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Well guys, as you can see, we are not exactly where we left off in the previous video because I played around 20 or 30 uh, more souls because I wanted to know if we were dying out. Well, luckily, I managed to do this, uh, research this upgrade and install it in the medical center, so now we are starting to climb up with the colonists, so we might have a chance to do this. Also what happened, this water uh, mine is, or water extractor was uh, finished, it ran out of uh, extractable water, so we have to build another one here. And now the plan is to build the electronics factory here and basically moving uh, people around uh, in the factories until uh, we can have a decent production. I also upgrading this uh, this residence here, so we will have uh, 84 people, uh, a space, living space for 84 people. And this dome will be on standby for now. Maybe I can do this, so we can spare the concrete for repairs. And when the population is high up here, we can move people uh, to this dome. So that's the plan, basically. And we need to build now the electronics factory. While we have the electronic parts for it. And yeah, that's the plan. I also managed to uh, research the service bot, but it costs a lot of electronics. So we couldn't use that, but I, I'm aiming to do that. So we can have this uh, uh, diner at 100% service comfort, and that will also help because it turned out uh, the birth threshold is... Oh, it's 55 now. What? Is the... Oh, because it stopped uh, uh, in this shift. I hope. So, what I found out that there are... The birth threshold. So, if the comfort level is lower than that, uh, there will be no newborn children. And I thought if it's uh, higher than there will be but it turned out the higher the comfort level it's more likely you get uh, new children so we have to work on uh, uh, ramp up the comfort levels of uh, this dome but our we have limited options really mainly because of uh, space but it's 71 right now that's not bad Okay, let's finish these buildings very quickly and then I hope we won't run out of uh, resources. Sector scanned. Another thing, uh, because we are researching the moisture evaporators, and then we need factory AIs. That we can or we could do this and making a meteor shower can provide us with some uh, research uh, anomalies because i don't see any way in the near future to increase our research in, when we can populate this dome we will start uh, building research uh, centers but until then research animal is the only way to go i think so we will risk that, because 25 soul is a long time. I think our water reserve will last until then. But, and we can tap into this one, but uh, it would be better to have a couple of more uh, moisture reparators. Okay guys, I think we will jump ahead quite a bit, unless something interesting happens, as per usual. 
Oh yeah, and we had an event that this dome heating was malfunctioned and it took us 15 machine parts. I say that again, 15 machine parts to fix the heating. As the frost outside melts, you can see that uh, uh, colonists are returning to their normal routines. The atmosphere is even a bit cheerful. You, you finish the report on Dome uh, Delany 1 and the issue with the heaters is uh, assuring our sponsors that the problem has been fully recovered. It, it seems that the accident has energized the colonists. Okay, and we give them a sanity boost. Okay. Resources are low. With the capture meteors, we achieve the milestone. Complete a special project. Oh, I didn't know that existed. And the meteor storm is in a lucky place. And we also uh, almost finished exploring, so we will get a research boost for that as well. And now we have some kind of uh, self-sufficiency, because we have enough colonists to uh, extract rare metals. We can uh, produce electronics. Meteor incoming. Okay, that's not a problem. So we can produce all the advanced resources. And if we can... Uh, now it only hinges on making people to populate the dome. Anomaly found. That's what I was aiming for. Oh, and there's a lot of polymer here. Okay, this will be a big harvest. Once the storm is over, we're going over and uh, and collect all the resources, and of course, uh, we will research the anomaly or analyze the anomaly. And our numbers are starting to grow steadily, so I think we avoided the crisis. Meteor incoming. Ooh, that's not good. But it's okay. It wasn't a really bad damage, luckily. Well, we are in a very interesting situation because I went for another capture meteor mission and a natural meteor storm will occur as well. So fingers crossed that we don't uh, and I heal, we don't destroy ourselves. Of course, I, I have saved games, but two Meteor Storm. If it turned out to be both of them turning out to be okay, that's amazing. And I think for a, for a while I, I stop the Meteor Storms. Okay, and now the second one is starting. Hmm, interesting. It seems they merged into one. Okay, that's a relief. Also, I wanted to point out that we have Cold Wave right now. 
and we have enough inner uh, power and we can uh, use the amplify as well that's great the only thing we cannot use uh, we can of course we can use the amplify because we turn the polymer factory off because it turned out we don't have enough water production and during uh, the first shift we are tapping into our reserves to have water in the polymer factory and when the polymer factory is out then we uh, re we resupply no not that's not the correct word but uh, we can fill up the water tanks during the other two part of the day which means we need uh, a more water production because I don't like that these are uh, we are using them as a buffer it should be filled with water and if uh, and the normal operation shouldn't drain the water from the water tanks okay I think Oh, that's not good. That was a little bit close, but maybe that's just normal meteor activity. Anomaly found. Okay, that's what we were fishing for. And we almost have moisture farming. And we are increasing in numbers. And we have someone who is unemployed. Interesting. Let's do more electronics factory. And now that we have that many electronics, because I upgraded the diner with service bot, we can build a the space bar a grocer because that will satisfy the shopping needs of the colonists and now we have enough uh, electronics to make it automated uh, automated as well and that means higher comfort more children and we can actually make it maybe this time but i haven't seen uh, the mystery yet So that can change things uh, for the worst. Especially if we have to research a lot for that, because we are not well equipped for uh, massive research. But we are getting there. No, no, we are upgrading this with service bots. We don't have to worry about it anymore. And it seems we are surviving the meteor storm. Anomaly found. And another anomaly. Come on, be destroyed. Okay. Okay, I think we had or filled with meteor showers. So uh, I, I don't press or lock anymore. Now, a few things have happened. I use these three anomalies to research deep scanning and we started to scan. And sector scanned. Now we are scanning this anomaly and we will see what we will get. Anomaly found. We found some useful material in the debris from a small meteorite. Okay, 30 rare metals. That's great because we did a planetary uh, anomaly mission and we also get like 22 rare metals. Okay, and this again.
okay let me board alone we can now we can afford to lose one because our numbers are increasing and now that we are starting to deep scam and we have some resources to burn i decided to build a sensor tower here to speed up uh, scanning great dust storm approaching and i also want to fix this one We need metal for that. And I don't want to leave this polymer here. Okay, now you should go. Oh! That's not good. Wow. Okay. Maybe, you know what guys, maybe we don't fix uh, that uh, sensor scan. tower this time around. Only after the dust storm. We have metals there, we have metals here. Okay, we are, we are set to go into the dust storm. Maybe, maybe what we need is another water tank. This sudden urge I don't know why to increase our reserves okay guys we survived the dust storm but we are facing a new problem that uh, we have no good metal metal source because now that we can uh, Can keep this uh, factory working we have to supply with a steady supply of metal and it will be it's starting to become increasingly difficult to do that just by collecting surface metals and sooner or later we will run out meteor uh, artificial meteor showers or not so what I'm intent to do I have to build uh, a mine Sector here scanned. But that means we need more people. We have to spread our resources more. Or, of course, I can direct these two people here. Because we have uh, a good amount of rare metals that will last for quite a while. And as we are increasing population, I think we are, we are drawing near to the point when we have to open this dome. And move people there and build research centers. But of course, for this... We need power and water. I think the water, we are uh, covering the water part of the deal, but we have uh, haven't covered the, the power part. And I think a few more sterling generators has uh, the answer. We should build two more. Uh, I mean, one more. And I think that four, because this dome needs uh, 4 to 1 with all the factories inside with amplifications. How much power a research center use? Research lab. 5. That's uh, minimal.
resources are low. Okay, we have crazy amount of metal here. And this is crazy far from home. Okay, I think what we'll do is to build that metal extractor. Sector scan. We will direct these two guys to work there. We have a new anomaly. And I'm very happy to see that one. So let's see metals extractor. We are turning this one off. And we'll direct Resources people here. Low. Yeah, we need... It would need more, more worker in the polymer factory. But I think what we will do is build another polymer factory near that dome. Also, we can collect some polymers uh, for the other sterling generator. And if we're starting with research, maybe... No, let's, let's build at least one research lab, staff it, and then we can uh, research this. We shouldn't jump ahead. There's more to the barren environment okay. than meets. That's a nice amount of tech. Ooh. That's a good one. That would be also there there are a lot of uh techs. That we will need. But let's focus on uh, improving our research. 2.1. What's the conception? More. So we need another work shift here. And yeah, we have renegades, but I can't do a thing about that. Sector scanned. Okay, I think. We have some maintenance issues, but I think 7.3 will be enough. And we can keep the other uh, facilities running. Oh, that's an interesting anomaly. Let's see what can we find out there. And now that we have that metal extractor, let's focus on getting uh, polymers so we can build another sterling generator and then we can start uh, connecting the, uh, the dome, the other dome to us and putting a couple of people there. Yeah, I th think we can collect the 10 polymers. For the extra sterling generator. Yep, 
Yeah, it's already 12. Let's finish off with some metals and we can go back. Resources are low. Yeah, I'm aware of that. What's the maintenance these days? One machine part. It's not every day that we have the luxury to choose from what Mars has to offer. Hmm. I don't really need either of these because it's a little bit of out of position. Let's go with the rare metal. Also, we found a deep uh, rare metal deposits it is very juicy and we will be it is sitting right next to us so i think we have to exploit the deep metals extraction and also maybe the deep water because it is just there so i think it will be worth a while to do that But still, let's uh, focus in connecting this dome. So we have... We don't have enough uh, polymers here. I don't want to risk build until we get... Oh, 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 oh. I knew it. I just Sector knew it. Scanned. When you have an important cargo, of course that, that's what's happened. Okay, now we have to rescue him. And if we sending If we are sending that rover here, we might do a little corridor there. Resources are low. Yeah, we need we need more workforce. But also we need the factory AI, because as the saying goes, work smart, not hard. Okay, we finally fixed this uh, sensor tower, and now we have again a problematic moxie. A yellow light starts flashing on your terminal, sure enough, it's one of the, those then mox units again. Once again, a mox unit has shut down and stopped producing oxygen drones, report that made of the Internal parts of mostly have suffered structural damage much earlier than expected. Okay, let's do this. Because it's just 10 ones. So we need 10 more uh, metal for to build each moxie, but at least the maintenance cost will, will eat that. So five rounds of maintenance will reach that. And then it's it's much 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 uh, pricey to do that. So uh, let's get back here. And you, my friend, collect everything there. And bring it up here. Okay, and this is the point when we will be building another Moxie. Right there. Yeah, now we have 41 uh, colonists, so. It is time 
to really open up this drone do drone dome and move some people there The problem is I don't still don't have enough uh, electronics. Need an apartment. Sector scanned. And we need a diner with service bots. And I wanted to launch a planetary mission. Yeah. Discovered. Ref up compression. Well, it's not that good. You know, the transport is getting back. Then we can do that uh, other planetary mission which requires a transport. Let's upgrade it with service bots. And then we will build a research lab there. And only then we start to move people there. Okay, how's water production total demand? That's okay. How's the oxygen? No, you don't go back. I want to check out uh, that uh, breakthrough technology. Resources are low. Ooh, yeah. This was a costly upgrade. Sector scanned. Okay, we will have to wait. Oh, someone is already here? No, okay, so... Let's quarantine it. I don't want colonists here. Not yet.
Come on, build some. Build electronics. Because we have to fix the machine parts factory. Come on. Breakthrough discovered. Landscaping the, the nights. Let's give me progress without the need of drones and generally faster. It's okay, I guess. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, it is fixed. And now we are producing electronics. And I think we have to focus a little bit on electronics production. So we can build the research, uh, the first research lab. I'm curious if we build an infirmary here. And of course, we will build a park. We can use service bots there. I don't think because we cannot do that in the medical center either. Okay guys, but I think we will end it here and building up the research ce uh, center and properly opening that dome will be happening in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider give the video a like, uh, subscribe and I see you in the next one. Bye.